Well, last week we did warn you guys here on our channel about this correction. And today we see many stocks and the main indices breaking through their inflection points, which we have been monitoring very closely this month, by the way. So this makes the bear market official now. So let's see what to expect from now on. How far can we go from here, etc. But first, Welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan. It is a pleasure to see you guys over here. I'm a professional trader and a spy, monster, vampire, whatever you guys like to call me. And of course, founder of the 5% project, helping traders to achieve consistency in this market. So if you do want to join a community of consistent swing traders, well, join our Telegram channel right now. The QR code is right here on the left corner of your screen and in the fixed comment below. Join us over there for many, many strategies, many signals on many stocks. Now, we see SPY making a very bearish reaction today. It is as bearish as the reaction from April 4th over here, right? Uh, but uh, on April 4th, we see that this movement was like an ignition bar, right? And uh, right now, we are making a bearish continuation chart structure. We are losing multiple support levels and uh, we are making this reaction right under the 21 MA, the exponential moving average on the daily chart, which is acting as a resistance level for us, by the way, one, two, three, four times today. So it is a very problematic reaction, which suggests more downside for SPY, which suggests that our stocks are going to, well, are going to suffer a little bit more. They are going to have a very rough time from here. Now, what are the support levels we are losing and uh, what are the next technical targets for SPY? Well, we lost the 512, triggering this bearish pivot point. We now lost the 508 and uh, we are on the verge of retesting the 502 free support level over here. But uh, in my humble opinion, if you ask me, what's the most important support area for you, Nathan? Is around the 497, which was this little gap over here. And uh, this key point is very close to the 21 MA on the weekly chart. Therefore, we are talking about a dual support area. In And, and again, in my humble opinion, since since SPY is clearly bullish, it is clearly in a bull trend, a pullback to our support levels is totally normal, expected, not scary at all, and it might be just another buying opportunity over here. But uh, right now, guys, right now, I don't see any meaningful buy opportunity. We are just bearish, making a massive bearish reaction. And uh, if you ask me, we are going to retest this support level next. But uh, if you ask me, Nathan, Nathan, what could convince you that SPY is going to reject this bearish thesis of yours? If we break and close above today's high along with the 21 MA on the daily chart, meaning we got to break this dual resistance level over here, then and uh, only then, I believe we're going to see a very nice bullish rally uh, next. But uh, Right here, right now, there is no technical evidence suggesting a bottom, suggesting a recovery, or that this uh, bearish sentiment is coming to an end, right? There is no such reaction. If we see a miraculous recovery closing above today's high, great. But as long as we don't see that in the lack of technical evidence pointing in the other direction, well, we are going to remain bearish. And uh, it is not going to be that easy to reverse this bearish sentiment, especially because we have earnings season in the next few weeks, right? QQQ shares a similar challenge over here. Bearish reaction, very strong one, closing above our key point. 434, meaning that we are escaping, we are making a downwards breakout from this congestion on the weekly chart. Since February, for, for the past two months, roughly, we have been inside this congestion. Right now, we are making a downwards breakout from this key point over here, suggesting a sharper pullback, a sharper correction, at least to the 21MA 
on the weekly chart, we could get a little bit lower because we are talking about QQQ, which is a little bit more volatile than SPY, but the situation is pretty much the same. We don't see any bearish reaction. I'm so sorry, any bullish reaction. And uh, we are losing our most important support levels. How this is going to affect our stocks? Well, as you guys can see here, it is a real bloodbath. We see Tesla dropping more than 5% right now, triggering this head and shoulders chart pattern. We are going to close below 164. In the lack of bullish technical evidence, we are going to just seek our next support level, $152. I thought it would be more difficult for Tesla to seek the support level because we are right around the support level of this descending channel, right? But uh, apparently the bears are just too strong and uh, we don't see any any meaningful bullish chart structure right now only bearish reactions only bearish continuation chart structures nvidia this one is a little bit more delicate because it is not necessarily bearish yet but uh if the broad market continues to drop probably nvidia is going to lose the 841 key point which is the most important turning point for nvidia right so by losing this red line we are gonna probably correct to the 21 ma as well just like spy just like qqq now apple also dropping it is trying to reject this bullish reaction from last week but uh, it is it is not rejecting completely of course we are still above the 21 ma there is still hope for a reaction but uh we gotta see the market we gotta see the indices making a very strong bullish reaction in order to convince me that apple is going to trigger this is going to trigger this double bottom chart pattern right if it does all right apple is going to probably fly and retest the 200 dollars area next but uh in the lack of bullish structures there is nothing for us to do right here right now remember guys trading is reactive not predictive we can't predict the future no one can i can't if you see if you see anyone saying that oh we can predict if you no, no we can't we can't we can't forecast anything we can just react properly and we see other stocks making very frustrating reactions as well like palantir for instance which is one of your favorites right uh, this one <laughs> very strong bearish reaction right under the 21 ma we are still we are still above critical support levels but uh, guys by losing the 21 dollars over here we are gonna probably correct to much lower levels right we could even close this gap over here in the next couple of weeks so we gotta watch out what's more by losing the support level palantir is going to officially trigger the idea of this uh, head and shoulders chart pattern, right? We, we have been lingering around this support level, but uh, by losing it, by losing it in sequence, well, we are going to probably crash to much, much lower levels. AMD is already crashing. It is already making a bearish chart structure, lower high, lower low. We don't see any meaningful bullish reaction, only bearish reactions over here. And by losing the support level, NVIDIA has another technical support area only at 143. So we have another gap over here below the 150s as well. So this area is going to be our next technical support level on AMD. And of course, guys, consider clicking the like button, consider subscribing this channel because we are analyzing many stocks here every single day. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on the indices, SPY, QQQ, on stocks like Tesla, Nvidia, Apple, AMD, Palantir, etc. So join the Finance Hydro channel. I highly appreciate your support, my dear friends. See you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye-bye.